Hello and very warm welcome to Raf Limbs. This is Farooq Hussain, and today we are going to learn an important topic in Koha Operational and Administrative Skills Series. It's interface designing of Koha Web Opac. By Opac, we mean the online public access catalog. The catalog of Koha is based on web, and it's using bootstrap theme that's mean it is adjustable on all size of devices screen for example you have mobile for example you have laptop for example you have the normal uh, computer size of a screen so all the tv you have it is adjustable on all size of screen so and it can be designed effectively with HTML, CSS, and JS. I mean the JavaScript, and it can be customized through the global system preferences. So this is actually a part of global system preferences, and we will design the interface of Koha Opac through the uh, global system preferences. So let me open my web browser. And there you can see, I just opened the Koha demo. Or you can open your system, but for practice purposes, I would recommend to use Koha demo. You just need to write Koha demo in your web browser. And there you can click on the Koha community website. Alternatively, you can visit the Koha community site and there you will find the Koha demo on the Koha community site. So let me open one staff interface and the opac of that. To log in with its staff interface, you need to use this login password. And also, I would recommend to use Koha manual if you want to learn more about Koha. It's Koha manual for 19.11. You just need to write in your web browser. And the very first link is about the Koha manual. So there you can see the in Koha manual, you can learn more about the OPAC in global system preferences. So let me log in this. Okay. The demo site, this is one of the demo. I mean, it's actually in staff interface. And this is actually the Koha web browser i mean the opac web browser so there we have opac opac is catalog new name it's actually online public access catalog so this is actually the catalog of koha that's available on web and your and it's actually online public access catalog but you can limit this to your staff only i mean to your patterns only by default, you can see the opac something look like this. There you can see this is actually the bootstrap theme and this theme is actually adjustable on all sides of the screen. For example, either you have mobile, either you have a laptop, whatever the size of your screen, it is adjustable on all sides of the screen. You can see this. Anyhow, so there we have administration and administration. We have global system preferences in global system preferences. We have OPAC and in OPAC, we have these preferences. I mean, the features, uh, advanced search options, appearance features open URL, payment, policy, privacy, restricted page, self-registration, and shelf browse. So there you can see we have these preferences and we are more concerned with the appearance right now. But I will discuss all of them uh, to show you more options about Koha. So this video is really very important and I would recommend to kindly watch this completely. 
so here we have advanced search option so there you can see it has two preferences i mean the two values so you can see let me open the advanced search here and there you can see a uh, lots of options are available to search sometime this actually confuse your uh, patterns to select what or what not so you can limit this by using this option for example uh, advanced opaque advanced search option so you can select all of them or you can uh, uncheck few for example sorting for example subtypes for example languages if you are not multilingual you can uncheck this and you can save this so now see what happened here so few options are hide actually i mean sorting languages they all have to be hide from this opac so this is actually the advanced search but i would recommend to use all of them as it is then we come to the appearance appearance is more important in appearance the first value is about the biblio default view what is biblio default view if someone search in your opac for example i just write uh, this is just an example so if someone search in your opac so he or she will see the search result in three styles can see in three style but by default what you want to open first i mean the normal view the mark view and the isbd view for example this is the mark view and this is actually the isbd view i mean the international standard bibliographic description view so what view you want to provide to your patterns when they search something so this is normal so there you can select i mean for example simple form mark form or isbd so i would recommend to use simple as it is then the important value is actually here we have uh hide loss item so you can hide loss item if you want to hide on default uh search and detail pages so you can hide this but the, the important value here we have library name so you can see the koha online catalog so you can replace this with your library name for example this is one example library this is not the real library zai public library So you can replace this with your library name. For example, see what happened here. Now it has changed to Zai Public Library Catalog, and even you can actually change this catalog. Uh, if you go to Koha uh, server, and there you need to work on this template, and you can. omit this catalog word and you can uh, write your library name as it is this is actually the main page and then advance and the search result on all pages you will display this koha i mean your library name it's zai public library or you can use your library name whatever so uh, the opac additional style sheet you can use additional style sheet in css style sheet cascading style sheets this is actually cascading so you can use cascading style sheets i mean the css style sheet if you have i'll show you when we will come to the css option so i'll show you how you can uh, uh, change this style sheet so this is actually what and then we have opac add must had uh, library pull down this is actually master had so the pull down let me show you uh, you have two options on main page of your opac this is actually to select the field what you want to search and this is actually the search bar 
write your query and if you want to display if you are if you have multiple libraries for example you have number of branches and you want to display all of them on your front page so you can do this you just need to use this opac must had library pull down and you just need to add this and all your branch libraries or all your sub libraries will display here you can see this all libraries so a pattern can select anyone where he want to search that particular book then we have another option uh, opac base url so you can use your opac url but the important is actually opac credits opac credits is actually uh footer area <clears throat> there the, the bottom area of your opac here we have few areas for example this one is actually the header this is actually the left navigation this is right navigation this is a uh, main user block and here we have uh the footer area i mean the credit area so you can write the credits I mean the who has implemented Koha here or uh, your institution name so you can use this portion for credit purpose so let me write one and you can make it more fancy by using HTML uh, script so let me write one uh, all this is just a simple form all right reserve to ref limits and here this is actually just a simple form now see what happened here but if i want to make this more fancy i want to use html script here so i have few script for you so if you need those script you can contact me you can write your email address in the comment box and i will email you all these script so let me open this okay so this is one script actually let me change this okay let me show you. so let me show you uh, okay there you have to write the library name and you have to write your url if you have some particular url you want to show there okay this is one script where i have implemented koha so let me copy this and let me paste here now i have pasted this script here so you can see this is actually the script it's paragraph it's the uh, space center the value will come in center and then you need to close this and uh, then the url you want to write let me show you the result first now see what happened here there you can see this is actually the library name where i have implemented koha all right reserve the koha url i mean it's koha ils implemented and customized by me for the university name and the year so this is actually one script that i have and you can contact me and i'll email you the script if you want and you can use your own by using html script you can write your own more better so if someone click here they will 
he or she will reach my website and there is another website i mean my profile area so if you want to write something like this so you can contact me this is actually the credit area or you can make i mean you can provide whatever you want to provide within the credit areas so if you are actually a system lab and you are implemented koha in your library or you are just a librarian or you have implemented koha there you must have to write the credit your name uh, in the credit box for that uh, your university or your institution must allow you to display your name <laughs> okay opac custom search uh, you can add custom search by the html i mean custom search box but we are skipping this uh opac display 856u as image at 856 uh, is actually a mark tag for uh the url so you can uh, display url as uh, as an image both on detail page and the result pages on both you can use this option and after this we have another important area it's called opaque favicon opaque favicon is actually this icon this icon k icon on the top tab of your web browser so you can see this and if you want to replace this icon you just need to provide the uh, image address in the favicon box for example this image uh, is actually the logo of my organization just right click with your mouse and copy image address and you need to provide that image address in in this favicon box see this is image address and save this now you will see the k logo will replace by that particular image see it has replaced after the uh, Favicon, we have another important area. We call it opaque header. And opaque header, uh, let me tell you, this is by default the opaque of Koha. And this area after the Koha logo and this book bag, this area is called the opaque header. And this area, I mean, this search bar and this area is called mask add and then we have left navigation and we have right navigation and we have credits down bottom and then the middle area is called the main user block so for example let me show you one opaque of uh, greenwich university with permission of asif my friend so this is actually the uh, header area there you can add your logo similar like this and this is the left navigation and here we have right navigation this is called main user block and this area is called the credits or footer so to add your institutional logo you need to provide some html script there or css you can or you can use HTML5 script for moving object as a uh, as the header. So I have few script here. Let me show you header. And if you want this script, so you can contact me. You can drop your email address or the WhatsApp number in the comments. So I'll share. With you. So there you can see let me explain you first and then the result is actually like this this is the result of this particular script so there you need to provide the web address of your koha pack for example this is the web address of your koha pack or you even you use local host you need to provide the local host or if you have some IP address, then you need to provide that IP address. 
So let us assume this is the web address or the, here we have the web address. This is just an example. So just paste that web address and then target will be blank. What does it mean blank? If someone click on that particular uh, image, this will open a new tab. The target will be blank and image address. What image you want to uh, place here as the logo. For example, let's select this. Just click right with your mouse and copy image address. And then title. If someone mouse over on your this image, what title will come out? For example, you can see this Greenish Library and Information Resource Center. Title will be just an example. Greenwich uh, University. Library. This is just an example. And what heading you want to display after the logo like this. Okay, and let me copy this. Here, let me copy this here. See what happened when I save this. You can see this. Greenwich University Library and then and if someone click on this your pack will be opening new tab so this way you can add any header or if you want to just use heading not the logo you can do this So this way actually you can work on this header portion and after the header we have uh, here we have one feature it's not to actually I don't think this is actually concerned with appearance but uh, let me show you I mean let me explain you this is actually a pack highlighted words not highlighted words this is something like this if someone search your opac whatever the terms he put there the, the term will be display as highlighted so leave it as it is highlighted or if you want to provide some stop word for example these words are restricted i mean not allowed in your opac for example like this No one can search like this, so so you can stop them. This is just an example, so you can actually stop these words uh, to search in your pack. And then we have a, a pack holding a default sort field. First column of the table. I mean, this is something live as it is, or you can change this. With your holding library with your home library and then we have opac koha url see maybe you have noticed co powered by koha this actually displayed on your opac and if you want to hide this so you just need to don't show koha i mean opac koha url and it will be hide. 
and this is up to you you can modify koha because it's completely open source after the koha opaque i mean opaque koha url we have another important area opaque logging instruction so if someone try to log in this portion you can provide the logging instruction opaque maintenance so let me show you what is maintenance sometime you your uh, opaque is not available for public or your opaque is under the maintenance or you want to upgrade your system then you have to display uh, some certain message and you wouldn't like to display i mean uh, your pack available to your public so you can actually show this message show save here maintenance now you see what happened here the system maintenance the koha online catalog is offline for system maintenance we will be back soon if you have any question please contact the site administrator so this way actually you can display this message or if you want to provide some custom message some some custom no notice so you can add for example dear patrons this is just an example all library catalog is not available due to some i hope this spelling is right and i am not looking at this spelling right now so see the first a message with some and similar way you can work on custom message if there's some problem with your opac so you can display this after the maintenance we have a very important area we call it main user block so you can display uh your uh, uh, some text like this on your opac some slide show on your opac in the middle area or new arrival or whatever you want to display within this uh main user block so you can provide whatever you want to provide uh within this main user block for example uh let me add this text in the main user block let's see what happened here by default you can see this is welcome to koha catalog in some other language i don't know what language is it so can see let me put my and you can actually modify this justify so you can move it to center and then adding fo welcome to library name you can provide your library name there similar like this you can add your library name and then some space enter enter and then justify align and the heading 5 again uh, okay this is actually adding fo adding not adding okay then new paragraph and paragraph will say justified and the that of uh, whatever you want to write you can add and you can provide your email address so this is script i have if you need this is script you can have this so let me save this and see what happened here see this is the main user block and in this similar way you can add some new arrivals there or uh, some slide show 
or some images or whatever you want to display within main user blog. I'll show you later how you can add uh, 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 a new arrivals there automatically or uh, manual if you want to add some new arrival what will be the script to add the new arrival here and uh, but actually it's a lengthy topic so we will discuss this later how you can add new arrivals in details or the slideshow how you can add slideshow details we in some other video so move forward after this we have another important area uh, there you can see the opaque maximum item display by default this is 50 i think it's quite enough opaque more searches i think leave it blank uh, opaque uh, my summary html i think leave it default and then we have opaque navigation navigation is actually uh, the left navigation this area is called actually opaque navigation and then we have opaque navigation bottom uh, after this after this area so let me add few navigation here navigation is actually used for some important links for example uh, click here for digital library this is just a, a link it could be a link it's a simple text and let me save this see what happened here. so there you can see click here for digital library now if i want to provide some simple links how i'll do that i have few actually navigations i have few script here so you can see this is one script actually html simple script and just copy here see what happened let me explain if you want to learn uh, important links in heading 6 and then it's actually unstyled and there i have actually put a link of hec digital library and text would be displayed digital library and then uh, the address of my channel and then heading will come as raf limbs and then uh, the address of my uh, channel web uh, facebook and then heading would come as facebook so you can do this and if you need this script uh, you can contact me so let me show you what result will come out. See, if someone click, it will go to the digital library. Maybe I put the wrong uh, wrong URL. And if someone click, this will go to the Facebook. So similar, you can add some important links here and you can actually make it more stylish. You can provide some style. So you can see how you can work on HTML. So this is quite easy actually. And then navigation after the navigation or even you can add some pictures. For example, let me show you again <laughs> the Greenwich University catalog so you can add picture something like this so I have one script here I have a script so you can use this script in bottom navigation this is here we have left navigation and bottom navigation just after the left navigation so you can add this script here see what happened here see so this way you can make your catalog more fin fancy and more attractive and you can design the interface of your web pack 
more effectively through the global system preferences of your OPAC. And then after this, we have uh, OPAC no result found. If there's no result found, what message will be displayed to your patterns? You can provide some. Okay. OPAC play music. Okay, leave it as OPAC public. So by default, your OPAC is available for public. So if you want to make it uh, for your patterns only, for private only, so you can do this. So there you can see OPAC public. If you make it disabled, then it will work in private mode and then your patterns must have to log in. OPAC result library. What will be the result library? Your home library. Leave it is as it is. OPAC result sidebar. Uh, there's no need to work on this. But if you want to, you can. Okay. OPAC show checkout name. If you want to display the checkout name with the OPAC, so you can. Uh, who actually check out that particular uh, book or whatever uh, the item as I said pack theme by default is bootstrap and this is actually some important area opac uses CSS and opac uses JS and then opac uses summary let it be default and then we have OPAC uh, XML details display. So if you leave it blank, XML actually will not appear something like this. Let me show you a few results. <sighs> this is just an example. Uh, I'm telling you. Okay. So there you can see this result is come with this particular type so if you make it leave empty then this result will come in a simple format this is quite simple but if you want to display xml mark features so you just need to click default default then save it and then the result will come something like this see this is some customized form through the xml mark there you can see this logo this text this is up to you we will discuss user uh, opac user css and js in detail so let me complete all these uh, things and then i'll Show you how you can work on this so this is actually the appearance and we have talked advanced search options we have talked appearance and now features well uh, uh, opac users css and js we will discuss in last of this this particular uh, video and then features okay opac acquisition details if you want to uh, display uh, the acquisition details with the search result so you can do this the display I mean from where you have purchased that particular book what price of that particular book if you want to display all these you can OPAC authorization leave it as it is uh, OPAC book bag book bag is something like this this card is called actually book bag so if you need to display this book bag it's usually available on publisher website not on library website as as per my understanding so you can actually don't allow the book bag and then save it this book bag will hide opac bo borrowers okay leave it as, as it is if you're working on cloud, then you have to enable cloud here. OPAC detail, 
QR code so you can enable QR code from here and then opac find tabs uh, allow patrons to access the find tabs on the my account page so your patron can log in with your account for example this uh, particular pattern can check check the details for example this you can see the your summary the charges your personal details your tags your change um, the password he or she can change if you provide access to that particular patterns so patterns can see uh, or even you can use control f to check the file i mean whatever you are trying to check or back find tab so it's allowed so pattern can check this tab and then opaque hold notes okay and and, and 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 password change a pattern can change password to allowed uh, opaque patterns image don't show show I think this has to show so a pattern can see his or her image if you provided that image okay top issue it's top issue something this is actually the top issue you can allow for more features and then opac user login allowed code of the day can uh, and you can actually modify code of the day in, in tools of this uh, I mean Koha from the modules of tools you can work on this code of the day request on OPAC allowed uh, review on you can um, show reviewers first a full name you can actually social networking collect all suggestions allow the one can suggest you what you have to purchase for your bag. Now let's see what happened there. So you can see uh, the mast hat has more option now, and then the social networking sites are activated here, and uh, further the quotes of the day. You need to add some codes in course of the day. I mean in tool options or the tool modules of Koha, then the course of the day would be display some somewhere here in the main user block. So then we have uh, open URLs. Okay, we have talk about the open URLs. Then we have open URLs, payments, policy, privacy okay the open url i think leave the, leave this feature as it is uh, the payment is more or uh, more concerned with actually paypal and the policy policy is something like a purchasing policy for example this preference say allow purchase suggestions brand choice so you can allow block expire patterns Opac action. I think left them uh, leave them block max open suggestions. Okay, leave it is as it is uh, Opac allow public list creation. I think leave them as it is and Let's see what are actually some important Opac suggestion mandatory fields. Okay, what mandatory fields you required when someone suggests to your library for example we need author we need title uh, publisher place of publication why he or she want to recommend that particular book the reason and the copyright and publication date one 
another thing you can add isbn if you want to but these uh, six fields out of 11 are mandatory and then we have opaque view other suggestions i think don't show search my library first i think don't limit them then we have privacy privacy uh, koha privacy is quite good but let's see what we can do allow patterns to search check out uh, visibility for uh, guarantors i think leave it leave them as it is okay then we have restrict pages what restrict pages if you want to restrict some page so you can do this self registration if your institution providing self registration then you need to work on the self registration so what uh, this is actually the pattern self modification borrowers unwanted field what field you don't require on the self registration form so you can write here and you can see this database column uh, pattern self registration you have to allow this if you activated uh, some pattern self, uh, self registration portion this need pattern self registration default category there you need to provide a default category and then pattern self registration additional instructions you can provide some additional instructions there and and then pattern self registration borrower mandatory field there you need to provide some mandatory field for example what mandatory field you need on the self registration form similar you can provide the unwanted field and and lots of thing available for this self registration so if you are working on self registration you can use this form and then shelf borrowers shelf borrowers i think leave them as it is they are quite easy and useful so then finally we will come to the appearance side of opac user css and css and js so now let us back to koha opac user css and js in appearance there we have koha opac user css and js css is cascading style sheet and uh, js is actually javascript let's talk about javascript first so javascript is actually to uh, provide the look and feel to your koha pack uh, and also your staff uh, interface so here we have a uh, And Koha has a complete jQuery library. So you just need to write Koha jQuery on your web browser and you can see there's a complete jQuery library, I mean JavaScript library available for Koha and you can use these scripts uh, in, your, in JS. For example, you want to change this library catalog to keywords. I mean, I want to change this library catalog to keyword. Uh, instead of library catalog, I want to use keywords here. And for example, I want to change this login password to uh, library card and pin number. For that purpose, we actually use jQueries and jQueries are available on jQuery library. So you can see For staff side, jQuery statements are available uh, and for OPAC. So there you can see. There are numbers of jQueries available and people working around the world and they have shared their experiences on this. So, for example, I want to change the keyword i mean i want to change this library catalog to keyword let me find out through control f and there i just write keyword so you can see this change library catalog to keyword in opac main search 
so or alternatively you can use this search box there you need to copy this jquery and you need to paste this jquery on your stock plan i mean this opac jquery portion and that's all now save this and see what happened here so this library catalog has replaced by keywords now so this way you can customize your koha pack more better and uh, now let us talk about koha opac user css css is actually cascading style sheet including include the following css on all pages in the opac so if you want to change this style sheet so you can change this as per your organization theme so you can change this and uh, there you need to provide some script so let us see the koha manual for this purpose when you open the koha manual and in opac you can see or even you can use control f user css so there you can see koha opac user css and you can see the default style sheet will likely be found at this address and uh, additional style sheets are available here and the opac layout style sheets are available here so i have one style sheet available so let me open my script and change this this style sheet to my so here and if you need these scripts so you can contact me i will provide you or you can see this let zoom this so you can see this this is one of the style sheet this is actually the script okay that so there you can see the background and the font and the color and the uh font style and the font size then header then padding then link color and all these things cover on this css so let me copy this so this is actually one of the style sheet that i have designed css so let me copy this and uh, let me paste here now see what happened this is your opac let me save this and now let me refresh this so it has changed the entire sheet so you can see this this is quite effective it look good even uh, the color of the links and this is this is so this way actually you can work on your koha css so if you need this script you can comment on the uh, your email address in the box uh, i mean in the comment box and i have selected these jqueries from the jquery libraries i mean the, this java script from the jqueries libraries and i have designed this uh javascript for cataloging of uh, digital item so i'll tell you later this is for informs and this one is also informs this is for gesture so i'll tell you when we come to the cataloging of uh, digital items so how we can catalog the digital item in some other videos so now let's back to the topic so let me copy these jqueries and let me paste here in Yes. So you can see 
what happened when we copied this thing. So we have changed this style sheet now and uh, you can see the advanced search. So they are actually more relevant to advanced search and let me see. Let me see. Now this is quite a factor. So anyhow, so this way actually you can work, you can customize your profile back well, effective in a way. So in the next video, we will talk about how we can add an Urdu virtual keyboard and how we can add a slideshow on your OPEC and how we can add, how we can display the new arrivals automatically or by manual on your uh, Koha web OPEC. So that's all for today and thank you very much. You are watching Raflames. This is Farooq Hussain. You must have to like this video and if you need any script, you can write to me. You can share your email address or the, your WhatsApp number. So thank you very much for watching. This is Farooq Hussain and uh, you are watching Raflames. Thank you. Stay tuned.